Greetings, Daniel Persedo for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. And an additional feature in this update is under the edit menu. It's a fill pattern and it's rendering trees. And I'm going to show you really quick. Here's a preview. I just added some trees in my office. And I'm going to create an empty layer so that it renders into this layer. These are 2D trees. They are not 3D trees. So under edit menu, fill, use pattern. It'll probably set to foreground by default, but if you switch to pattern, and then under scripted patterns, you select tree. And then just hit OK and it'll bring up a dialog. Now this script was created by Daichi, one of our fabulous artists at Adobe. And you will see there's many trees to choose from. You have an oak tree, ginkgo tree, you know, maybe we'll just do a little maple tree here. And you can change the light direction. This is driven by JavaScript. So the performance will be not as fast as a proper filter under the 3D, uh, excuse me, under the filter menu. And if you guys really like this and it becomes really popular, then I suppose we would promote it to a, a real filter. Um, in the meantime, it lives in the, in the Deco engine and it does a pretty fabulous job as it is. And I just mentioned all that because I love to get feedback. I love for people to comment and, you know, if this were to spread like wildfire and people would use it, then wow, we could do some really other cool things. So anyway, you can change the leaves amount. There are a lot of little properties you can set here. I'm going to make it uh, a little more sparse there. And then just hit OK. And it's going to start rendering it out. And look at that, a beautiful tree. And we can move it around because it's its own independent layer. And I could put it here, put it there. Maybe I'll just stick it right in the middle here, cover my running shoes that were left there. And there, I could put my other trees. And, um, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'd like to see what you guys come up with out there. And um, I hope you find this really useful. And you want more things like this, let us know. Thank you for watching. Give us some feedback. Thanks.